Good morning. I need to fix my tripod before we get going. That did not work. You know what that means? I need more Gorilla Tape. Remember last year when I had Gorilla Tape all over my windshield? Good times. So it seems like the Gorilla Tape is not gonna work. Think this'll work? Only one way to find out. Okay, they're all, they're all waterproof, caulked, and sealed now. Remember when my windshield was covered in this schmoo? Good times. And for good measure, we'll just put some tape on it anyway. Can confirm that it's sticky. Nice. Let's see what it's doing outside, I guess. Get out of here, Francisco. Oh. It warmed up. Six degrees, we're back. Got the heavy duties on. Man, it is hot in here. How do I look? Now how do I look? Okay, took my first L since getting the calendar back. Sorry, I couldn't clear out a big enough patch of dry ground to get after it. Yeah, excuses. Update your records. Man, that is a nice tarp job. Oh, what is this? A smudge? Are we back? Is it a smudge on my glasses? there now they can see the license plate it's a winter wonderland nice all right that just about wraps up the festivities from the outside now let's get back to business This is for Jack. Jack just celebrated seven years being cancer free and we love that around here. Also today is Jack's birthday. So Jack, thanks for watching these videos. Thanks for having birthdays. Thanks for kicking cancer's ass. Earmuffs kids. And if you wanna be really cool, get gigantic windshield size sunglasses. 
Other than that, I'm out of advice. But I do have one more question. I feel like I'm yelling because of the earmuff thing. Yeah, I was yelling. Gosh darn it. Okay. Um, I'm never gonna fix that, by the way. Jack, happy birthday. Now, are you ready to go trucking? Let's go. Oh, doesn't want to move? Oh, put it in four-wheel drive, baby. Nice. Tires are spinning. Oh, you got a flat bill. It's not my problem. Continue on the current road. I'm going to. Where is the road? Oh, all my tires are spinning? Hell yeah. I think this is the road. And away we go. Hathaway, Montana. And we are 150 miles into our day. Right, Francisco? Am I lying to them? No. So we're gonna get out, stretch our legs, check this load, use the potty. Also, look, there's no snow on the ground, so I can get rid of these boots. <sighs> Feels good to be back. I wonder if these are dry yet. Yep. Nice and crispy. My new mud flap. Look how sturdy that thing is. Oh, good. Lights are still exposed. This is a real nice day. It's as good as I'm going to get it. terrible out there. 15 degrees. No wind. Real nice. Let's keep going now.
Medora, North Dakota. Shush. 30 minute break time. I love this place. It's pretty windy out there. Let's go check it out. Still there. I will now make a healthy food option for lunch. Ooh, somebody should clean that thing. Thirty-minute break is over, and if you're wondering why it smells like perfectly slightly burnt popcorn in here, it's because I did that. Might have overdone it. Oops. And now it is time to skedaddle. But first, we have to replenish the hydration. Okay. Oh, snack bucket getting a little heavy. What'd you guys do with my paper towel? Oh, there it is. All right, let's get out of here. Valley City, uh, where am I? North Dakota, fuel time. And I can't tell if this pump is supposed to be blocked off or not, but I'm gonna find out now. I have a feeling that it's not going to work. We will see about that. Looks like it's working to me.
Oh man. What is this? Is this what I think it is? This looks a whole lot like a flatbed or in reverse. This is dangerous. This is preposterous. There's no excuse. We live in a civilized society. There's no place for flatbedders going the wrong way. We're in danger, we gotta call somebody. Call Mary Poppins. Call Don Lemon. Call Jerry Lewis. This is not good. Holy smokes, he made it. It's a miracle. Rothsay, let me try that again. Rothsay, Minnesota. Rothsay, Rothsay. I'm in Minnesota. We did 679 miles today. Nice. Now I will do my 10 hour break here. I think I'm parked in the dirt where I belong. Oh, is this? I think my trailer tire's in the dirt where I belong. I've never parked here before. This is nice. But it's late because I lost another hour today. It is 11.06. And I have a lot of editing to do. So <laughs> we're just going to go ahead and wrap this up. Thank you guys for hanging out. Okay. Can't let me have a moment. I will check in again with you guys next time. Later. Rothsay, Minnesota. Looks like it's going to be a nice day out there. Let me get dressed and then we can... <laughs> okay, no watch. Let's get dressed and then we can get on with this day. Ta-da! Okay, 10 hour break is over. Let's get out there. Holy smokes, where'd all the washer fluid go? It's crazy how this thing will go from empty to full, to medium, to over full. Where's it hiding? <laughs> okay. There it is. Man, I should have worn gloves. My fingers are frozen. Oh, I forgot to turn my lights on. Nice. Let's try again. Nice dirt. Cool. Don't ask me what's in that bag. I don't want to know. Golly, it's a windy one out there. Watch says it's 17 degrees. Today is my good friend Steve and Riverside's birthday. I've known Steve. What is this? What's happening? It's real dusty in here. I've known Steve for a while via the Twitter internet deal there. He's a real good dude. I actually finally got to meet him a couple months ago. Him and his son came out. Didn't bring me anything, which was kind of messed up, but I got to shake his hand and tell him I love him face to face. Steve is also in Hawaii right now celebrating his birthday, which is kind of messed up. So I don't really know if I want to give him a bottle flip because of the jealousy. Totally kidding, Steve. I hope your day and your birthday in Hawaii is totally fine. I forgot to verify my log from yesterday. That has been fixed. 
Steve is a Dodgers fan. Steve is a Dodgers fan in Hawaii. That just shows you how spoiled he is. It's not fair. Woe is me. Steve, are you ready to go trucking? Let's go. Another day, another supply chain crisis. Hey Siri, where are we? Maple Grove, Minnesota. Excuse me? And I had to pee. My bladder is full because of... all the hydration from my big dumb manly cup. And just in the nick of time, there was a rest area that appeared out of nowhere. And now I must gird up my loins and bundle up. It is super windy out there. Also, I'm kind of hungry, low key, no cap. Red Baron really knew what they were doing when they made those little pizzas. Well, that's not good. smell the pizza from here. Nice. That's not how I do it. I don't know if that's gonna work or not. I added that one too. I don't feel like undoing all that. This should work. Man, it is winter out there. Right yesterday, the day before when I was in Montana and North Dakota and everything, it was colder than this, but there wasn't any wind. Minnesota is not messing around. Let's try to get around Minneapolis now. Driving, by the way. 
or at least staying in his lane. Just cut that guy off. That's really nice. Menominee, Wisconsin, and I'm here to get fuel, but also I need to take a 30 minute break. I originally wanted to take a shower here, but according to my calculations, I don't have a lot of time to waste if I want to make this delivery on Monday. So, that being said, I'm going to need this line to move a little bit quicker, I think. I'm not gonna have any problems knocking out 30 minutes here. Let's mosey on over to this side that is actually moving. All right, if that guy ends up leaving before this guy, I will not be pleased. Oh, let's go. Thank you, Mr. Dart, man. made my decision where I'm gonna do my reset. You guys are really gonna hate it. But the factors in play are, I need to get through Chicago, but I also need to stop at a Loves because that's the only place I can shower for free. <laughs> uh, and also my time is limited, so it's gonna be a nice surprise whenever we shut down. And then you guys are like, why would you ever stay there? I'd rather stay in Baghdad. It's totally fine. Oh man, you guys let the truck die? Okay. Mission accomplished, 30 minute break has been taken. And now, I have to really limit my stops from here to the end of my shift. Okay. See my face, thank you. Let's get out of here.
feeling I might have to go across the street to the TA, the Petro. Unless there is oh, a dumpster in that spot? Nice. I am a piece of garbage flatbedder. I was totally kidding, I don't want to park here. Ramp on the right. Oh man, what's this fella think he's about to do? He's not doing what I think he's doing, is he? Setting up for a dangerous maneuver? Does he not know that he's operating a flatbed tractor trailer? Oh no, oh, that's the sound I was dreading. He's now in reverse, he's going the wrong way. Sir, your truck is pointed in the opposite direction for a reason. If God wanted you to go in reverse, he would have made you French. That was a low blow. We need to call somebody. Call Nancy Grace. Call Don Quixote. How far are you gonna go, Buster? Oh man, he made it. It is a miracle. Gary, Indiana. Wind appears to be out of the south southwest. Greta is going to be furious, dude. <laughs> she better not let her see that. Really blowing out there. You think that's okay, or should you get that looked at? Where Gary? Who cares? I heard you. See, I told you you weren't going to like this. And then I ended up not even being able to park at Love's anyway. There were a couple spots in that back row, but they were pretty tight. And I knew, like, this Petro was massive. And I've never had issues finding parking here. So, Gary, Indiana, Petro it is. I guess I'll pay for a shower tomorrow. Or maybe I'll walk over to Love's. We'll see how frisky I'm feeling. Do you know how frustrating it is to be looking forward to leftover hibachi for all day long and then... You had to throw your hibachi away because your Coke Zero decided it was not closed all the way and left a mess in the fridge? That's pretty cool. Somebody want to come pick me up and take me to hibachi in Gary, Indiana? So I guess instead of hibachi, Red Baron it is. I don't know if you know this about me or not, but I love sports. Joe from the future again. Uh, this video is over. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you're still here 30 something minutes later. I really appreciate you guys and I love you. I'll see you again sometime in the future because that's what I'm good at.